the morning of November 7th. It's a beautiful morning. It's about 35 degrees. We have a north wind switching to the east. The pressure actually was on the rise kind of overnight. It's gonna, it's peaking right about, you know, in an hour. It's gonna start dropping again. We had a deer cruise by, a, a young buck cruise by at 10 yards. We're setting up and uh, we've already had a couple other bucks we've seen. We are on the little 28 acre piece after Rocky. Good news, I got a picture of him. So he's still alive. He's not an EHD victim. He's, he's one of those deer that I, I don't get tons of photos of him, but you know, with all the EHD going on, I was worried that maybe he died. Didn't want to spend a lot of time hunting him if he was, you know, dead. So it's nice to get a photo of him, know he's still alive. And um, we actually encountered him two years ago out of this very tree later into November. He's such a cool buck he'd be. I think he'll be a difficult one to kill, but I'd like to put some time in after him and see if we can't cross paths with him. You know, we definitely, when he really starts covering more ground after peak, it might be a better time to get him, but we'll see. I think this spot sets up really, really well. There's a lot going on right here. There's multiple draws that come together. It's a, uh, the inside corner of the field, sort of a bluff over the creek on this side drives him through this corner. It's a real heavy trail. There's a lot going on topographically and make deer come this way. This is where we had that ground encounter with the two young bucks last time we were here, moving this camera. So just a lot of, a lot of cruising uh, generally takes place right here and we're set up well for them to cruise with this north blowing us back over the bluff. Come cruise this downwind edge. We're gonna sit in here as, as long as we can. Hopefully Rocky shows up. a little after 11 o'clock. It's been a beautiful morning. Most of the activity was that first hour and a half or so. We've got one spike that uh, worked through the draw um, later into the morning, and now I think it's bedded down in there. We've got a few things to take care of midday here, and uh, but we're gonna come back to this spot. So we're just gonna jump down for like an hour, hour and a half, and then we'll be back here like to put a little bit of time in after Rocky, so wind is out of the east and this spot sets up good for that. So we'll see you guys this afternoon. Well, we are back up in the tree, same spot as this morning. There's a little more south in the wind, which was not forecasted, but the way it's flowing through here is more like a east-southeast, which isn't quite as ideal, but I, I think it'll work. 
we saw a buck. Looked like a nice tin. Dog and a doe down in the timber there when we first were climbing up the ladder. And that's been it. But um, we got, I don't know, three or four hours to go. The spot historically is pretty good in the afternoon. Um, in fact, this morning was the first time I've hunted here in the morning. It's the third or fourth time in the afternoon. We have a little green clover here. Got the beans up on the hill. Got acorns. So a lot of the does kind of head this way to feed. And as I mentioned this morning, it's just a, a lot of draws and things come together right here. So hopefully as these does get out of their beds and start to move, the bucks start pushing them around. They're to the right. She finally got out. They're going up the hill. Yep, they are. That's the same too. The smaller one, the one right there, the one off. I saw them pull out. Well, it's getting pretty exciting. We've been watching the same 10 point that we filmed this morning down in the bottom down there with the doe on and off throughout the afternoon. Very hard to see down in there. He, he'd pop up and then disappear. A little one and a half year old came in there and the doe got up and they were running all around the hillside. She's acting like she's in heat. All of a sudden we could hear a fight break out. Scanning, scanning, scanning. Finally could spot the two bucks locked up. Pushing and shoving. And it looked like that same tin and then Kind of a wider eight, I think. It was a little bit hard for me to tell. Looked like the 10.1. They went away from us, so. If she is in heat, which, you know, all of this leads me to believe, hopefully some more bucks show up and the ruckus continues. down to our last 10 minutes and that fight certainly made the day for us ended up having that little young buck that was down there come up and feed for a little bit one other two and a half year old come up behind us but uh, that that was it for the rest of the evening I'm definitely gonna put some time in on this property I mean, Rocky's such a cool buck and knowing he's alive um, we'll definitely make some sits for him it's a tough time of year you know, you gotta have a doe drag him by, basically. I think it'll probably be easier to kill uh, post rut if I can get him to come to these two acres of standing beans, but this is still a good rut farm. I mean, even though it's 28 acres, it's, it's in sort of a natural pinch area, funnel area, so we'll log some hours here and, and see what we can see. I gotta work in the morning, but I should be out tomorrow afternoon. And uh, either way, we'll, we'll see you guys next time around.